I don't remember seeing this picture before. The stone and the girl. Dana? Oh yeah, I should ask about that picture. I was pretty shook up, too, when I got separated from you. I'm glad you're okay. I'm really sorry you got mixed up in all this. I was scared to death, though. It was pitch dark, too. But it only took me a bit to figure out that it was the same place, and I started thinking that maybe it was just a different time. The buildings and the streets are almost exactly the same, so... Wow, you thought of all that and didn't freak out? Well, I would have for sure. Well, it took a while to get used to. Things only fell into place lately. I looked for you for a long time, you know. I'm sorry. I looked for you too, but I didn't have any luck. Well, no use worrying about what's done. It's been four years, after all. Huh? Oh, yeah, I, I guess it would be. You do look more, well, I don't know, mature, come to think of it. What do you mean? Oh, nothing, really. A night watchman helped me that first day. And since then, I've done a lot of different things. I even worked in a mill for a while. But now, I'm a chambermaid at the Squire's Manor House. I feel so content these days. I I feel like I should be thanking you. Why are you modeling for a picture? The squire's a patron of this painter, and that's how I met him originally. He said he really wanted to use me as a model, and I just couldn't say no. I see. The squire's daughter was supposed to model, really, but she didn't want to do it, so I ended up taking her place. So the girl in the picture is you. Oh, I don't even start posing till tomorrow. I just came over today to work out the schedule and all that stuff. But the picture will eventually be painted. Hey, why did you come here today? Are you here to take me back? You know how to, don't you? Sure. Do you want to? Go back to our own time with me? I did, you know. 
Of course I wanted to, but not anymore. Not anymore? It's okay. I have no one there. No parents, no family. So I'll be okay here. No one will worry about me. No one expected anything of me back there. No one was watching, no matter how hard I worked. So there really is nothing for me there. Dana. Don't worry about me, Ike. I'm grateful to you, you know, this world, this age. I feel like I've come home after a really long trip. That's how right it feels, and I mean that. So please, don't look for me anymore. This is where I'm going to spend my life. I've already made up my mind. Dana. Oh, remember this? It's the red stone from that day. That stone's a... a look. Do you mind if I ask you to give that to me? Of course, you can have it. If it weren't for this stone, I would have never met you. Neville would have ended up right here now, talking to you like this. I've always thought that there was something very important about this stone. But that's okay. That's the reason I thought about having it included in my portrait. After all, I got to see you again. Here you go. Thanks, Dana. What are you going to do now? I... I, uh... There's someone you know that I work with? At the manor house where I'm being looked after? He and I, well... We're going to start a life together someday, so... So I'm going to be staying. I'm really sorry, Ike. Won't you regret it? No, I won't. It's all right. Okay. Well, you take care then. Thanks. You too, Ike. to show up unannounced, don't you? Father's down in the basement working. You did come to see him, not Margaret, didn't you? Oh, stop it. By chance, the Philosopher's Stone? Yes, I is this it? That's the only stone I know that fits the bill. Ah, in the name of heaven, I shall start the preparations for the experiment right now. It's all right, it doesn't matter if this is not the true stone. I'm grateful for your help regardless, but if it is the stone, 
The results should be wondrous. Please, come back again in, let's see, five... No, make it ten days. Ten days? Okay. That would be the 13th. Oh! What is it? <laughs> 